G'day everyone, welcome back you bloody legends. Today we're going to be doing episode 2 of the Wolfpack campaign by Reflected Simulations. I've sorted out all my performance issues from episode 1. That was just due to some new recording software. I'm going back to my original software now. Hopefully it'll be a lot smoother. Let's get straight into it. Gentlemen, the Luftwaffe seems to have disappeared. We've had a few uneventful ramrod missions in the last few weeks. And now we are being tasked with a withdrawal support for the bombers coming back from Bordeaux. A group will take off at 1510 hours, call sign Yardstick. Set course at 1520 hours, then head across the channel. Your rendezvous point is over frack camps. Although we haven't seen much of the Luftwaffe lately, we've had a few men missing due to other mishaps. The weather is still cold and the channel is freezing. If you experience any problems, better abort than carry on and crash behind enemy lines. If you do get in trouble, contact Air Sea Rescue on Channel Charlie for pickup. Some of you are still not wearing those Thunderer escape whistles that we've been issued. For Christ's sake, put it on the collar hook of your A2 jacket. Finding a man in the drink is like looking for a needle in a haystack. Now off you go. Alrighty, let's start up the jug. Feel on. Prime. Six poles of a handle. Battery on. Close the oil cooler. Open the intercooler to neutral. Engage starter brushes. Energize. Wait about 15 seconds. Clear! Clear prop. Mags on. And mix it all over. What a rich. There we go, she just got over. Now we sit through the painstaking process of warming up the jug. Five minutes later. T's and P's are looking good now. We can give our um, flight lead the thumbs up. Here we go, thumbs up. We should be taxiing any moment now. After a five minute warm up. Gonna be following HVF on the way out to the runway. Lining up on the runway now, gonna be a little bit noisy until we get up, get up in the air and get this canopy closed. Make sure we lock the tail wheel. We have base and weight to the left, hang on. There we go. Alright, rolling. Pull back on the stick. Air speed's alive, pushing those forward, up onto the mains. In 1.30 we can start pulling back on the stick. And we're up. Easy peasy. And kind of be closed. We can close the cow flaps. And catch up to our element lead. Hello, track line, yardstick calling. My airborne checking in. Track line, yardstick, receiving loud and clear. Carry on with the mission. After that. Already post takeoff checks. Oil, oil cooler open. Inner cooler neutral. Gears up, flaps up. Turn the gun side on. Try not to get lost. 
then switch to external tank. Might have to get rid of the pilot to change this over. Left tank on, the external, there we go. It's a bit of a foggy day. It's a bit of a foggy day for 3.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> would have thought the fog would have lifted by now. But I guess it's the UK, they're known for their bad weather. We're over France. Gonna switch back to my left external tank. I switched over to the right when we were crossing the channel and halfway through the climb. Just make the weight even on both sides. Sunshade, what a badass name. <laughs> Contrails, 12 o'clock. Looks like we got the heavies below them as well. There we go. Uh, Those are the big oh, hello. There we go. Thankfully, they, that wasn't too erratic and didn't get me killed. We're going full power now, apparently, because we're in such a rush to get to the bombers. <laughs> Struggling to catch up because on note they've just put their they've all just gone idle. I'm gonna catch up too fast now. Saw something ready. Time for a rodeo. Oh fuck. And I've overtaken them. And ED say their AI aren't erratic. What the fuck was that? And now he's just sped off and gone full power. Oh yep, tally, 419s, 3 o'clock. Holy fuck. Tanks away. Fuck, need to switch over to main. Alright, this is our this is our um wingman. We'll we'll cover him. I doubt he'll need much help since there's only four against all of us. Friendly, another friendly. Where are we going? Is he chasing something? Is he just getting energy? I think he might just be getting energy. There's one. The 
joke just split in between us. <laughs> oh. Oh, there's the one I want. Ugh. If he comes around on me, I'm gonna have to break, but I need to follow my wingman. He's driving on Pusky. Let's drop down and find something to street. Why would we do that? There's still fucking bandits about. And one of them is on you. To help my wingman out here. Come on. More lead. Hits. Here we go, more hits. I got one on me as well. Oh, nice. He's out. It's friendly behind us. Had very bad frames for a little bit there, but it's alright. Is that a bandit in front of us? I think, yeah, that's a 109. Oh, he's about to get demolished. My blasts are not coming down to the panel damage. I can't land this. He seems to be surrounded by a group of civilians shaking his hands. <laughs> but let's go home now. Oh yeah. I doubt he's gonna get he's gonna be very combat effective now. Absolutely roasted him with fifty cows. Now which one are you? You're silver, so not who I need to be following. Wingman was was in front of me for most of that. Then I lost him once we started. Once that one and I started coming around. Just hopefully one of these though. Uh, HVS. We're looking for F. What are you? Oh, I can't really tell. H V D. Yeah. I think I might have lost my wingman. H 
H V R. Yep, this is not my fault. Oh well. We're trekking home with these boys. See what this group up here is. They look silver. What are you? What are you? HVF. There we go. There's my wingman. man. Ready. Time to form up with him. They're going a bit slow. Just going to break off. Formed up with our flight now. That was a pretty decent flight. Bagged one Jerry and one probable. Saved my wingman's life as well. So he owes me a beer at the pub. <laughs> See the bombers way off in the distance over there. Might be a little bit tricky to see with the YouTube compression. But I guess you're just going to have to take my word for it. <laughs> you look right below. And slightly in front of the nose of HVF. And actually now they're behind him. Right above the canopy. Yeah. I highly doubt we're going to get engaged for the rest of the way back, so I'm going to chunk the, gonna chuck the uh, BBC home station on, home radio. Staffer, single wing waggle for our one victory. Alright, coming around on downwind, get her slowed down, come back to 15 manifold. Below 220, we can open the cow flaps. Level off on downwind. Gear down. Can have you open. Flaps down to 150. Bring the power back in. Some people in the pattern already will come in behind them. Got two jugs coming in on landing there. Once we go, the beam with these guys will turn in. Alright, turning in for base. I'll be in more like forward. Oop, flaps down. Don't want to bring those up. Oh, cooler open. 
intercooler open. Make sure we don't have a heat on the ground. And on the funnel. Does this guy just fucking jump the queue? <laughs> Might come in on his wing. Why not? See if we can um see if we can have a good landing to make up for last time. Far out, how does he fly this slow? I'm like stalling. <laughs> yeah, oh, I couldn't do a good landing with that much AOA trying to come in with that, with the AI. He was flying on stall speed. <laughs> Alright, note taken for next time. Don't try and fly on the wing of AI on final. We'll come back over to our parking spot that we started from. At least we didn't um, bend the gear legs in. That would have been a bit of work. and we can shut her down. Just do some final checks. Uh, pedo off. Generator off. Flaps down. And back to neutral. Inner cooler closed. Oil cooler open. Close the cows. So no pesky birds build a nest in there. Alrighty, let's run her up to 30. RPM 20. Check the mags. Only about 50 RPM drop on each. Bring it back to 1000 RPM. Drop the throttle to idle, let it sit for idle for a couple seconds, and shut her off. That's it for episode 2 of the Wolfpack campaign. Thanks for watching, see you on the next one. See ya.